Welcome to Nijmegen, Netherlands. This is the oldest city in the Netherlands. It used to be a Roman city. And this church here is closed. And for many years, one of the things I've been preaching is some churches need to close to the glory of God. Not every church needs to be open. Just because it's a building doesn't mean God goes there. And I want to share something with you. My friend pointed this out to me. And this is the New World Order going on here. This is the ecumenical movement that is going on. And the Catholic Church is behind bringing Christianity and Islam together. It's called uh, Chrislam. And many years ago, I was in Jerusalem in 2015, and a guy kept trying to invite me to somebody's house the next day for lunch. And I was like, well, who is it? What is it? And... The guy said, just, just come with me, just come with, maybe he'll help you, is what he said. I said, okay. And so I go and I wear my Jesus Saves From Hell t-shirt and it's on the Mount of Olives. And when I get in this man's house, I find out he's a Muslim and he's got something hanging on the wall, ecumenical movement and I started looking at it like whoa what is this and then there was a key and the man told me he said that he speaks sometimes with the Pope like he travels let me show you something else this is a movement that is going on right now the ecumenical movement bringing all religions together and this says world peace blank. Many years ago, America had a, a movement called Together, and Pope Francis was supposed to address this Christian movement called Together. And somebody uh, broke the words apart, and it said, To get her together to get her who's her the body of christ the bride of christ the catholic church wants us together with them last year a ministry went to portugal and uh, endorsed the catholic church thinking it was the right thing to do and several christian leaders big ones got behind them and this has been going on for a few years and they supported them and then um when was it uh, december i believe it was when uh, pope francis came out and he says that he's going to give his priest blessings to endorse same-sex relations and i heard somebody preach the other day if he has authority to do that, why not bring a woman about to have an abortion with her abortion doctor and ask the Catholic Church to bless that too? Hey, I'm about to have an abortion. Here's my doctor. Will you pronounce a blessing on us? And it's the great apostasy, and it's going on right now. And I watched somebody say the other day, this is the most critical, important time right now for us as the body of Christ to use our voices. And uh, it's not time to be quiet. So God gave me about a week off of blogging. And Lord willing, tomorrow I go with uh, a brother in Christ to preach in uh, Europe. I don't want to say yet where, but in Europe, and then quickly uh, come back to the Netherlands.
it's not always good to publish where you're going to be and what you're going to do because it sometimes gives the enemy time to plan an attack. So this year's going to be a little bit different. Some of these churches in the Netherlands have closed and turned into libraries, even coffee shops. Churches are supposed to be about Ephesians 4.11. The fivefold ministry equipping the saints to do the work of the ministry. You don't become a saint after you die. You become a saint after you get born again. The Bible says the righteous are bold as lions. Who is bold as lions? The righteous. It doesn't say the evangelist are boldest lions. It said the righteous are boldest lions. And the master said to the servant, go out into the highways and the byways and compel them to come in that his house may be filled. Jesus is the master. He did not say to the evangelist, go to the highways and byways. He said to the servants, we as the body of Christ are called to be the hands and the feet and the mouth, uh, the body, the body of Christ. God never said, I'm only going to send my mouth out there. How silly would that look just to see a mouth running around? No, we are the body of Christ and everybody is needed in 2024 to go out and shine. The Bible doesn't say only for uh, the fivefold ministry or only for the evangelist to be seen. All Christians are called to be a witness, Acts 1.8. All Christians are called to be the light of the world, Matthew chapter 5. We are the salt and the light in this world. Like John the Baptist, we proclaim, Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. This church is, is closed. It's a museum. It's dedicated to whoever this Titus is. But look how much money was spent on this building. Jesus said, don't store up your treasures on earth where moth and rust can get to it. Store your treasure in heaven. For where your treasure is, your heart will be also. Store your treasure in heaven, people. Happy New Year.